So, Mike, how, how's it feel? I know you've got some exhibitions under your belt, or exhibition in a scrimmage, but to get the first game for Coach Holtman on Friday, what, what does it feel like in the locker room? Is there a level of excitement added to the fact that it's the first game of the season? Yeah, I think for sure. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of anticipation for this game, um, you know, with a new staff and pretty much a new team. Um, it was exciting. You know, it was good to be able to get out there and, and, and play hard and, you know, be able to just see where we are, you know. Um, obviously, Worcester is not the level of competition we're going to be playing going forward. Um, but it was good to see, you know, us gel a little bit and see us, you know, make little mistakes that we can fix very easily. So, What have you learned from Coach Holtman that you need to do to be on the court? Like, what sort of things do you have to prove to him before he puts you on the court? I mean, as, as a whole, not just yourself personally. Right. Well, for everyone, it's play defense and play hard. Um, if you can defend, you're going to play. If you play hard, you're going to play. Um, you know, offensively, that's you. You have a little bit more freedom, um, but defensively, is is that's he wants you to play defense. The whole staff wants you to play defense. Um, sit in the stands, be able to move your feet, um, stay out of foul trouble. Um, so, um, if you can play defense and play hard, you'll be in good shape. What's what's the motivation with the team? I mean, you mentioned just being excited, but to start things off on a positive note. You know, with with the first game that matters and whatnot under a new coach, what's kind of your your guys' motivation heading into this? Well, this is kind of a you know very basic statement, but I mean, it's just to prove people wrong. I mean, a lot of people say that you know we're not you know Ohio State. You know, we're very weak, and you know, especially with the new coaching staff and you know a bunch of new players, it's it's tough to come back and play very well and play um, play with some energy um, just with all the circumstances we've gone through over the last couple of years. So um, the biggest thing. You know, we want is to just prove people wrong, prove that we're capable of playing and playing well, and capable of beating some very tough opponents. Micah, um, how many behind-the-back transition dunks can we put you down for this year? I don't know. We'll see. JT played some pretty good defense on that one play, so I'd have to honestly give him the credit for it because he, you know, made the kid, you know, lose possession of the ball to where I could pick it up and run with it. But I mean, hopefully, we'll get a couple more. It was definitely kind of a cool play. That you had that kind of flash in your game. I was like, put it behind your back. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I can, I can handle a little bit. Um, you know, and I can jump, I can jump a little bit too. Um, not as much as Cam, but um, I can still jump a little bit. Um, so it was definitely fun. Uh, and I guess like along those lines, um, we know that you're a gifted three-point shooter, especially for a guy who's as big as you are. But other areas of your game, where do you think maybe you've you've seen the most improvement now that you're heading into this season? Um, I think one thing is just patience in the post with my back to the basket. Um, that's something we've worked on a lot um, with all the big men, not just me. Um, just being patient, letting the play flow, um, reading the defense before you make a move, um, and then making the right move after reading the defense. Um, and just being confident, you know? I mean, a lot of the time, like, if you're just rushing yourself and you're not sure what you're doing, like, you're not going to make the right play. So just being patient, not rushing it, and making the right play. In terms of where you are this season and, and last season, in terms of the vibe in the locker room, how is it different starting this season from where it was starting last season? What's the biggest difference? I think guys are just having fun. Um, obviously, there's a lot of pressure, but I wouldn't say that guys are feeling the pressure as much because we all just like each other and all just having fun. Um, it's like, we, like I said, it was exciting to get out there and just play, um, and that's pretty much all the guys are worried about is just playing. I mean, there's a lot of noise going on around us outside of the court, but we're only worried about what's on the court. And, you know, besides proving people wrong, we're just having fun. When you talk about that noise around the around you guys, I know Coach Holtman has said that Coach Peden has got stuff up in his, law, in his uh, office, all the predictions and stuff like that. How much do you guys pay attention to that? Because I know we always hear that you're not paying attention to it, but obviously you guys are aware of it, it sounds mm -hmm. like. Well, I mean, just with the situation that's gone on, you know, over the past couple of years, I think it's hard to not be aware of it. Um, but at the same time, you know, we use it a little bit as motivation. Um, you know, coach brings that up a little bit, say, hey, look, guys, you know, these teams are saying, you know, this is the time to get Ohio State. And, and this just kind of like adds, you know, fuel to the fire. And, you know, that just, that just motivates guys. And, you know, but besides that, I mean, it's just we're just trying to focus on ourselves and focus on what we can control and just going from there. Jen not as much pressure and I'm curious why you know is that because it's a new coaching staff so maybe the expectations aren't as high I mean like why do you feel like there's less pressure than there was maybe a year personally I feel like it's just because I have more support from my teammates 
Um, I feel like everyone is just kind of just gelling better. Um, not as clicky. I, I was, we're not clicky at all. Um, you know, there's no separation. Everyone like, you know, likes each other. Everyone is comfortable hanging out with each other. And um, so with that, I think it's just because of the extra support that we have from each other, I think there's less pressure in that sense. Cam, what's it feel like for you knowing that this is the last first game that you're going to play for a season? And, and you know, starting, I'm sure starting to have some of those thoughts, but this is the last time I'm going to do this, last time I'm going to do that. What's it feel like for you to get ready to start your last season? Um, it's a little bittersweet. Um, you know you want to go out there and do so well. But for me, every game, I just want to go out there and just have as much fun as possible. Um, you know, just let loose, um, just play with my teammates, and just whatever happens, happens. When we talked to Coach Holton the other day, he said that one of the things he really wants to see from you this year is he wants to see you really hunt your shots. Mm -hmm. what, is, what does he mean by that, and how do you, how do you have to do that? Um, just no matter where the ball is, just be ready to shoot. You know, just always be in a shooting stance. No matter if the ball is like in the post or the opposite side of the court, just always be ready to shoot. Um, Cause you know, I'm at my best when I'm in attack mode. You know, I'm trying to attack the rim, set my teammates up, things like that. Not just, you know, being um, being behind the line. So he just wants me to just stay aggressive, basically. Have you ever not been ready to shoot? You strike me as always ready. Um, no, nah, it's been a couple times where um, I haven't. I would have a shot opportunity on a late closeout and I wouldn't shoot. But I think that's just um, me figuring out, you know, his new system. I think that had a big role, played a big role in that. And now, like, I just feel like, you know, I have a better grasp on, you know, what he wants from all of us. You know, I can pick my, pick my spots better. Um, I know, like, where I should shoot and when not to shoot and things like that. And that just came with time. So, you know, just understanding what he wants with his system and things just going to go from there. You guys were, um, was it three of 24, I think, on three-point shots in the exhibition? And I, I know it's just an exhibition. Um, but is, it, I guess what I'm asking is, is this a good three-point shooting team? Is that too many three-point attempts for this team? Had you guys shot the ball well in the summer in the scrimmage uh, when you guys played Xavier? Like, how would you, I guess, describe the shooting ability of this team? You said in the exhibition? Yeah. What three for 24? Were you three for, 20, three for 24 on three-point attempts? No. I don't, know what you, I don't know what you're talking about. You forgot it. You put it out of your mind. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> no. Can the can can the rest of you do that? <laughs> nah, um, I think it's just us, you know, being a little jittery. Um, you know, playing somebody else. You know, with all the lights on, being in the shot. Um, you know, we've been in the practice gym. You know, all summer. You know, all preseason. You know, I think it was just jitters, you know, because, you know, in practice, you know, CJ CJ seems like he don't miss in practice. You don't miss um, Dre seems like he don't miss in practice, you know, miss. on the pick and pop, you know, uh, Michael seems like he don't miss. So, you know, we know, you know, shots are going to fall, you know, when we're all clicking and we're all on our cylinders. So we're not really, well, we don't, I don't think we're pretty worried about it. And, Mike, you said you're aware of the sort of projections. We don't pay too much attention to it. Do you guys pay attention at all to when Dan Dockich picks you guys to go to the <laughs> Final Four? So that's kind of funny. So I, I room with Andrew. Um, and I was like, so, I mean, did you see what your dad said? He's like, man, yeah, he just loves that. I mean, that's, that's just who he is, you know. Um, you, know I, you know, Andrew said that, you know, if things fall into place, we, you know, progressively get better each day. Um, we have a very good chance to surprise a lot of people. Um, and I and you know Dan just took that and ran with it. So <laughs> that's about all I know about the situation. What what is that relationship like with Andrew? Because I've listened to Dan on his podcast has said that Andrew said something like, "I'll get Micah right by the end of the year." Like Micah's gonna be <laughs> like, what is that relationship like between you two? I mean, we're cool. I mean, we have um, you know we just have our common area. We just chill out there. We've been watching Stranger Things and it's yeah, it's a great show, especially season two. Um, you know, just chilling, hanging out, getting to know each other better. And I think that's that's huge. You know, building relationships off the court affects, you know, relationships on the court. So um, just being able to know each other better and understand each other better helps on the court. Cam, when you're talking about picking your shots and hunting your shots um, and knowing, like, where to get them this year, I've seen that, like, there's X's on the court when you guys are practicing. Are those where you're supposed to be shooting from? Like, is that is that why those are there, to help you focus in on where you need to be? Or is that something um, else? It's just more, like, spacing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've talked a lot 
to you guys and Coach Holtman throughout the offseason, and, and the focus has been on defense, and you mentioned defense is going to get you on the court, but how do you envision the offense kind of coming this season? How do you, how do you see it playing out? How's the comfort level in it you know, under a new, new coaching staff? Okay. Um, well, the biggest thing, it's actually up um, on the wall in our locker room. Um, play to your strengths. Um, that's like the biggest thing when it comes to our offense. You know, like I was saying earlier, don't rush it. Do what you're, do what you're good at. Um, whether it be back to the basket, shooting, driving, and kicking, you know, whatever it needs to be done. Do, do what you're best at. Um, and, you know, in the summers when you can develop and you know, learn new skills. But right now, do what you're best at. The coaches are really good at, you know, putting you in a position to, to use what you're best at. Um, and, 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 you know, kind of, I guess, hide your weaknesses. Um, but just playing to your strengths and, and, and going from there.